Well, I'm Dr. Rita McGuire, the Chief Medical Officer here at Wakana, one of the co-founders. And each and every Wednesday, we pick a topic, you know, feel free to email me. Someone emailed me and said, Dr. Rita, we want to hear or I want to hear about how CBD can help and assist with allergies. Uh, many of us on the line either have allergies or we know someone who suffers from allergies. So we're hoping that this information is going to help you, your loved ones, and anyone that you know. So allergy sufferers, I'm telling you, these are some miserable people, right? Um, millions of people experience some sort of allergy, where, whether it's chronic, a seasonal, um, it's a reaction to certain foods. You know, allergies can be inherited or they can be result, a result from the environment like pollen or mold or from your pet's hair or like I said, certain foods of the climate, temperature, even humidity. Guess what? Stress can also influence the severity and frequency of allergic reactions. And we're going to find out why this evening. So there's, again, so many types of allergies, right? You can be walking through the field and walk through some poison ivy. And yes, you'll have an allergic reaction because of a skin contact with a plant. There's some folks who have latex allergies, right? They can't use certain condoms. They can't wear certain gloves because of a latex allergy. And again, we talked about animal hair or animal dander and even jewelry. I have an allergy to nickel. Every time nickel touches my skin, I have a breakout and a rash. Certain foods cause allergies. Um, sometimes we call them food intolerance. One is milk. Another can be certain medications, antibiotics, certainly can give a allergic reaction. Many people are allergic to shellfish. You know, my brother, my oldest brother was allergic to shellfish and he used to take an antihistamine before he had either shrimp or crab. I mean, he loves shellfish so much. He was willing to risk an allergic reaction so he would pre-medicate himself with an antihistamine and we're going to talk about what histamines are, what antihistamines are, so that he could have some of his favorite foods. Nuts. Um, some people are allergic to nuts, right? They are allergic to peanuts or walnuts. There are certain medications, injectables, that can cause an allergic reaction. Certainly bee stings. I found out that I was allergic to bees in my late 30s. My daughter started cheerleading and at one of her cheerleading practices, I got stung by a bee. I think I was about 33 years old. And what was crazy about it, it was such a severe allergic reaction that my hand was like 10 times the size it is now. It was a very, very scary um, event in my life. I never knew I was allergic to bees, I guess because I had never gotten stung by a bee ever in my life, but it was so severe that I had to be hospitalized and get IV steroids just to bring the swelling down. And then there's inhalation allergies, you know, from pollen, from dust, from mold, mildew, and again, animals as well. So what's interesting about allergies is that it's very common. You know, one in four people suffer from allergies. And you know, if you're on the line and you have allergies, some of the common symptoms are runny nose, a nasal congestion, coughing, sneezing, watery eyes, itchy nose and eyes, worsening of asthma. So if you're asthmatic, sometimes it can trigger a status asthmaticus event, which could end you in uh, a lot of patients up in the hospital on ventilators. And of course, a decreased quality of sleep. And again, you know, in the spring, that's when we really see a lot of folks suffering, like during this time when the pollen count is high, 
when a lot of the, the trees are releasing a lot of the pollen. There are some natural remedies. Um, there are medications and we're gonna talk about them, but nasal saline rinses, uh, nasal steroid sprays, and even antihistamines and when you really have issues, immunotherapy, that means you go and get these allergy shots every month or two to reduce these symptoms. But the biggest thing that we're gonna talk about in addition to CBD is prevention. You know, trying to avoid pollen is not really that easy, right, in the springtime. Um, but there are some things you can do in your home, like get special filters and, and cleaners in your home to clear the air, at least in your home. A wash bedding and, and clothing in hot water, that seems to help. And also shower and change your clothes frequently throughout the day, especially if you're going in and out during the springtime. Allergy testing is really big, you know, allergists. Uh, our physicians who specialize in testing folks that have allergies and coming up with some resolution for their allergies. But the biggest issue is histamine. You know, histamine is the culprit for why folks who have allergies are so symptomatic. See, histamine is a chemical that your immune system makes. And histamine is like a bouncer at a club. It's actually trying to defend whatever has triggered your allergy. It's really trying to help your immune system fight off that trigger. But what's really crazy about histamine is that it absolutely makes the symptoms worse. Because when histamine is released to help defend your body from an allergen, this is what happens. It causes a release of what we call mast cells from the immune system. And these mast cells will go to the skin, they'll go to your lungs, it'll go and release mast cells in your nasal passages, and it'll start to either dilate vessels in your nose, and your nose starts running, it starts to dilate vessels in your eyes, and your eyes start watering and tearing. It goes to the lungs and starts to constrict those vessels. So you start wheezing and you're short of breath. It goes to the colon, the stomach and the bowel. You start having diarrhea and constipation and abdominal pain and vomiting and loose stools. It's a release in the body to try to defend from an allergen, but it really makes things worse, right? Many of you may have a lot of these symptoms when your allergies are really, really, really bad. From eczema to hives. And when you have all these symptoms, guess what happens? You're really irritable. You're really mean. I do know I have a middle child, Joshua, who had had really bad allergies until I introduced him to CBD and essential oil. So, you know, they're miserable. They can't sleep. They've got mood swings. And just imagine how you feel if you're coughing and sneezing all day, right? Histamines also release a lot of inflammatory cells which cause pain. It causes joint pain. It causes muscle aches. So along with having allergies and having mood swings and behavioral symptoms because you're having allergic reaction, you also can have pain with allergies. Now, many of you who have allergies absolutely uh, can identify with this slide, right? Over-the-counter antihistamines try to counteract the histamine release, right? So we'll give you or recommend to you to take uh, Allegra, or maybe we'll recommend Zyrtec, or maybe Claritin, or Benadryl. These are some of the common over-the-counter antihistamines that we give those who suffer from allergies. Why? Because we're trying to counteract the histamine release that happens in the body as a defense. 
What happens when we give our patients antihistamines? What happens to you? If you're on the line and you take antihistamines, give me a shout out if you have any of these symptoms. Well, antihistamines like Benadryl makes you sleepy. Can you imagine having allergies and then trying to go to work and you've taken Benadryl and you're sleepy, you're drowsy? It can cause nausea, confusion, and blurred vision. So unfortunately, even over-the-counter antihistamines have its side effects. So let's talk about the probably most severe way of treating allergies, and that's allergy shots. Now, I don't know about you, and I am a physician, but I hate needles. Dr. Rita hates needles, I'm telling you. I do not like needles. I've used needles on other people, but getting an allergy shot, oh my God, every month, every quarter would be really hard for me. So immunotherapy or allergy shots are really reserved for those who have got no relief from their allergies from either over-the-counter medications or even prescription antihistamines. So let's talk about CBD because CBD can be an alternative for all of you out there that have allergies. See, CBD or cannabidiol is a potent non-psychoactive cannabinoid found in the hemp plant. It's part of the cannabis family, but it comes from not only marijuana that gets you high, but it also comes from hemp. Hemp is a species that has large amounts of the CBD and very trace amounts of the part of the plant that gets you high, which is THC, and it gives one that is looking for an alternative to their allergies an option without the high. So it is one of the number one components found in the hemp plant. It's called cannabidiol. So let's look at cannabidiol. And it may be a little hard for you to, to read the writing, but CBD cannabidiol has a lot of benefits. And let's specifically talk about allergies though. CBD is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. And when histamine is released, histamine is released, let's say you're walking down the street and all this pollen starts flowing at you. And you start to have an allergic reaction. Your eyes start to itch and your nose starts to run in. Well, the histamines in your body are defending that trigger. They're trying to help you fight off this pollen reaction you're having. But unfortunately, the histamines also release inflammatory cells. So the inflammation starts to occur in different parts of your body. Inflammation, again, like I talked to you earlier, can cause joint pain. It can cause muscle pain. So CBD is very, very important when we talk about reducing inflammation, which is caused by the histamines to be reduced in those who have allergies. CBD also is very potent as an antibacterial. Many seasonal allergies or sinusitis or sinus infections that we see due to allergies are due to a bacterial infection. So CBD is antibacterial. So it really helps to reduce that bacterial load if the sinuses in your nasal passages start to become infected. CBD also helps to reduce anxiety. I talked to you. I lived with my son for what, 21 years before he moved out? He was miserable. He was irritable. He was mean. Why? Because his allergies were so bad, he couldn't sleep. He didn't feel comfortable because his nose was running. His eyes were always watering. He just felt miserable. CBD helps to reduce anxiety, to help calm their mood. It also helps to sleep. CBD is very powerful in helping those pathways in the brain to release more dopamine, more serotonin, so folks with allergies can sleep. So you always have to remember that we can never, ever make claims 
that CBD will cure your allergies. But what we can say is that CBD absolutely can address the symptoms that you do have from having allergies. And again, those symptoms are symptoms due from a histamine release, from an inflammatory release that can cause symptoms of watery nose, itchy eyes, mood behaviors, and pain, and et cetera. What you also see in this diagram are other compounds that the hemp plant makes. Not only is CBD important, but CBG and CBC and Delta 9 THC and Delta 8 THC. All of these compounds, what we call cannabinoids, work synergistically on your cellular level to help reduce that histamine load, to help reduce that inflammatory load, to help you feel calm, to help reduce the pain. And the way it does it is through a science. See, there is a science behind how CBD can assist with those who have allergies and many, many other conditions. And it's through the endocannabinoid system. This system has receptors, CB1 and CB2 receptors that specifically bind with CBD, specifically bind with those other compounds we talked about in the last slide to put the body into balance. And when we talk about allergies, we're talking specifically about the immune system, making sure that the receptors, both CB1 and CB2, put the immune system back in balance. See, when you have allergies, your immune system is crazy. It's hyperactive. It's, it's, it's like it's fighting your body. It's almost having like an autoimmune uh, disease where your body thinks that these allergy triggers are foreign. So it's trying to fight them off, right? So CB1 and CB2 receptors are found in the immune system. They're found in the system where those mast cells, stay with me, that are releasing histamine, that can release inflammation, is put back in balance. So inflammation is addressed, the histamine is addressed, and your allergies are addressed. So again, hemp and allergies, it activates this endocannabinoid system to support your immune system. CBD also blocks the release of histamine. So instead of taking an antihistamine like Zyrtec and Claritin and Allegra that block histamine, you can use CBD to do the same thing without all the side effects like drowsiness and confusion and blurred vision. Hip or CBD is also a powerful anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial that we talked about, reducing the incidence of sinus infections that many allergy sufferers get. It also reduces the swelling of the nasal passages. So instead of those passages swelling and your nose is running, it reduces the swelling. Now, another thing we see in allergy patients is a lot of mucus production, right? So what happens with CBD, it opens up the sinuses and it really allows that mucus to be expelled from the body. It helps to relieve congestion and it helps to aid in prevention, again, of infection that's caused by itching of the eye. So CBD is safe. It's a natural way of addressing and alleviating an allergic reaction by reducing inflammation, by reducing histamine release and helping you feel better. Again, there are many studies that show how CBD can help to regulate your behavior, right? We talked about how those who suffer from allergies are very miserable, they're irritable, they're cantankerous, they're crazy because they feel awful. CBD also reduces inflammation, it opens up the sinuses, it relieves all the pressure that you have in those sinuses, the nasal congestion. And again, more importantly, CBD is an antimicrobial, reducing infection. So when we look at this plant, it looks so harmless, right? I'm telling you, this pollen is awful. This was the true irritator of my son, Joshua. 
He couldn't do outdoor sports like baseball during the spring or golf because this pollen had him incapacitated. He had to stay inside a lot when the pollen levels were high. And again, CBD is able to reduce the allergic reaction due to pollen, due to mold, due to animal hair dander, due to foods, due to medications, by reducing inflammation, by putting the immune system back in balance or homeostasis, and many, many studies have shown that it's done that. Pain management, just imagine sneezing and coughing and sneezing and coughing. Allergic reactions can cause chronic pain. So CBD is an anti-inflammatory. We're gonna talk specifically about products that you can use topically to even help reduce the pain that allergic reaction and allergies can cause. So is CBD safe? Is it a safe option? Absolutely yes. CBD can be used as an option safely to replace conventional allergy treatments, over-the-counter allergy treatments like antihistamines without all of those side effects. We always, always recommend that you consult your physician, especially if you're someone out there that has really severe allergies, you're getting all these allergy shots, you're working with an allergist, loop your allergists in with the CBD so that they understand all of the benefits that CBD can gain, that you can gain from CBD with your allergy. So let's talk about some of our products. We have some amazing products that I wanna recommend for those who have allergies. Our disclaimer is that these products should not be used or sold by persons under the age of 18. We do have some vape cartridge cartridges that should not be used for persons under the age of 21. If you have allergies and you're nursing, you're pregnant, uh, you're under a physician's care, please consult with your physician. The FDA does not allow us to say that CBD can cure your allergies or any other issues, okay? But we can direct you to the science. And we've talked quite honestly about the science about how CBD can assist with symptoms that those who have allergies have. Now, a big question that everyone says and asks, not says, but a question they ask is, how fast would this CBD work? I need it to work right now for my allergies. Well, the factors that really impact the effectiveness of CBD really depends on a lot of things, right? It depends on the concentration of the CBD you're taking, it depends on your weight. It depends on how severe your allergies are. It depends on your body chemistry. And oh my goodness, we're going to talk about diet. It depends on your diet and your overall tolerance to CBD. So let's talk about our tinctures. Our tinctures are products that are oils. They are placed underneath the tongue. I highly recommend using a CBD tincture, one of our Wakana tinctures for your allergies. Why? because tinctures are able to really uh, get into your, your bloodstream and stay in your bloodstream for a good six to, eight, six to eight hours or more. So that's why we recommend twice a day dosing with our tinctures. I like to start out with three drops in the morning and three drops in the evening. It's a great way to offer relief. Our Hempranium 500 milligrams, which is here, is a great product if you have mild to moderate um, allergies. If you have severe allergies, I would recommend our Hempranium MD. It's our more potent formulation. Um, it is between 600 and 850 milligrams of CBD, so it's a more potent uh, product. We also have a water soluble product. We have a broad spectrum product. That's our pure product because there are some folks out there that have allergies but may have random drug screens. You may get random drug testing at your job. So we wanna make sure that you have a product as well. And that would be our broad spectrum product that contains less than 0.0% or less of THC. Now the legal limit of THC in hemp products is 0.3% or less. So all of our power products, 
all of the products that are in the black labels have the legal limit of THC. So if you do not have drug screens at your job and you have allergies and you wanna address your allergies in a holistic, natural way, you wanna use our power product. If you have urine drug screens at your job that are random, you wanna use our pure or broad spectrum products. Our topical products, we talked about how those who suffer from allergies have joint pain, they have muscle pain, why? Because they have an overall increase of histamine that release an increase of inflammatory cells, which can cause neck pain, headaches, um, it can cause back pain, it can even cause a lot of inflammatory pain in joints. So the topical products are going to offer local relief for those who have allergies and have joint pain or muscle pain. We have a 400 and 200 milligram extreme power relief. It is in a cream. You can apply it locally three to four times a day. We also have a Dr. Rita's rub. You know, I really love it, not just because it's Dr. Rita's rub, but I love the fact that it's in a roller ball um, packaging. So I carry my Dr. Rita's rub and whenever I need it, I just inconspicuously go under my lab coat here and just rub it on that shoulder. That's giving me a little issue. We also have our power body mango cream because we do know that uh, allergic reaction can be in the form of eczema. It can be in the form of a skin issue like eczema, psoriasis. So our Power Body Mango Cream is a great topical product that you can use for those hives, for those rashes. What I love about topicals is that they don't pass the blood-brain barrier. They won't make your urine drug screen positive. So if you have urine drug screens, you absolutely can use any of our topical products. We also have smokable products. Those are products that you can use when you're having an acute allergic reaction that can work within one to five minutes. We have vape cartridges, we have pre-rolls, we have premium flour that you can use. One to three pulls is all you need three times a day to address those acute uh, allergic reactions that you may have during time to time. And then our edibles, you wanna use the edibles at night. The edibles are gummies. They're gonna help you sleep, right? A lot of allergy sufferers can't sleep because they're miserable. That histamine release uh, doesn't allow dopamine and serotonin to be released in the brain to help you sleep. So our power gummies are great. Our, our broad spectrum gummies, uh, the broad spectrum gummies again are those gummies that contain less than 0.0% or less of THC. So we have gummies for those who have random drug screens. We have gummies for those who do not have random drug screens. We have a product that you can bake with, you can cook with our Hempranium, our culinary um, product. You can place in your baked goods or any other foods that you're cooking. We have an immune defense tea. We also know that addressing the immune system, making it as strong as possible will help reduce allergies as well. So we have so many great products as well as spices. You can use CBD spices in your food. Another way to address your allergies in um, spices are butter. We have a vegan butter you can use as well. So there's tinctures I recommend that you take twice a day. There's the topicals I recommend that you use on local areas that offer local relief for joint pain, for headaches, for even, you know, that pain you get in these sinus areas. You can rub a little of that power relief cream here on the back of the neck. We also have those fast acting smokables, our cartridges. We have the, the lotion, we have the spices and the butter. Just so many products you can choose from. But remember, prevention is the key. Prevention, trying to avoid certain allergies or allergens are not really that simple, right? Because you gotta walk outside, but there's things that you can do in your home as well as filters. There are areas that you can uh, talk about when it relates to um, 
changing your clothes, maybe after exposures, uh, keeping the windows and doors shut, uh, showering often if you're in and out during allergy season. I do want to just let you know what I did for my son, Joshua. Joshua is really happy here, right? He is a happy guy because he doesn't suffer from allergies anymore. His allergen or trigger was pollen. What did I do as a mom? First thing I did was I introduced him to our amazing products. I put him on Hempranium 500. I had him start at three drops twice a day. I also put him on black seed oil. You know, black seed oil, what does it black seed oil do? But black seed oil helps to address uh, digestion, kidney function, immune function, uh, inflammation. And the third thing I did is I removed dairy from his diet. I removed cheese and milk and eggs. And I'm telling you within six months, my son, my Joshua was able to go out and play golf. He was able to play baseball. He was able to really get the quality of his life back. And he did it with a combination of lifestyle modifications, which we all have to do, right? There's even certain foods that you can Google that have high histamine levels. You wanna stay away from foods that have high histamine levels, but absolutely dairy causes an increase of mucus. It causes an increase of inflammatory cells and the dairy is from the devil. So take dairy out of your diet and add these amazing products. So I want to talk briefly about essential oils because essential oils are essential to those who suffer from allergies. But bet, who better yet to present that information is our very own Dr. Betty Guy Smith, who is an expert um, in essential oils. I'm telling you, this woman is a wealth of knowledge. I wanna bring her to the stage so she can share with you our amazing products here at Wakana, our essential oils that should also be added to those who have allergies. So let's see. I think I have to promote her over to a panelist. Well, actually I'm here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, I just promoted somebody. Somebody okay. is a panelist that shouldn't be a panelist, but that's okay. Dr. Betty, thank you so much for inspiring us with these essential oils. And I'm just going to do this Okay. Can you see Dr. Betty? I can. Okay. But can we see you? It's well, okay. Yes, we can see her. Okay. Um, you can take it away. Okay. So um, thanks for this opportunity to share with everybody about our wonderful, magnificent, uh, pure essential oils as they relate to um, allergies. So Dr. Rita already talked about uh, black seed, which I was going to, to mention a little bit about. Like she said, it is absolutely essential in terms of respiratory health um, and helping with the symptoms of allergy because uh, it is hands down one of the best antimicrobial, anti that's a tongue twister, antimicrobials. And so it offers a lot of uh, uh, assistance with bacterial uh, viral uh, uh, influences that might be, uh, that might be experienced with um, allergies and the symptoms of allergies. Um, so she already handled that. So I'll move on to eucalyptus. Um, and just let me say that essential oils are really a safe and natural way to minimize and many times eliminate the symptoms of allergy. Um, they boost the immune system function. And I mean, basically, they really help you feel better. So eucalyptus uh, is an excellent choice. And as you can see, is one of our essential oils. And the benefit of it is that 
it opens up the lungs and it also opens up the sinuses so that in, uh, circulation is increased and the symptoms of the allergic, act, uh, allergic reaction are actually decreased. Uh, it also produces like a cooling, uh, cool cooling effect in the nostrils so that it actually increases uh, airflow because it helps to uh, shrink the, the mucous membranes, the coolness of it helps shrink the mucous membranes. And then we have peppermint, which is highly anti-inflammatory, and that is one of the reasons we add it to our CBD. And so it's very soothing to many of the, of the, um, the effects of the inflammation because inflammation is, is heat. And the peppermint is very cooling. If you've ever uh, uh, put peppermint in your mouth, you get that burst of coolness, and you can actually feel in your nostrils um, that that uh, methylated cooling effect, which helps to decrease the uh, any swelling and increase airflow. So, in in essence, it really in, uh, improves your breathing. It also helps to relieve that congestion. So um, now a couple of the ways that you can use peppermint are to just uh, shake a few drops in your hand, rub your hands together, and cup them over your nostrils and inhale. And boy, you will feel everything just open up and you'll be able to, uh, the, the airflow will increase. So you can also uh, diffuse it in a diffuser. There are a couple of different types of diffusers. There are the ultra mist diffusers where you have water that you put a couple of drops in and the water actually takes the droplets of oil and diffuses it throughout the air. Then they have uh, their types that diffuse pure essential oils into a very very fine mist and those that that particular method is also very therapeutic you can also uh, let me say in diffusing you do want to limit the time that you diffuse don't just diffuse essential oil all day long you want to do it in increments or uh, uh, short bursts of periods like <clears throat> excuse me maybe a half an hour you want to diffuse and then uh, do that maybe three, four times a day, and that is very helpful. Okay, uh, you can also um, rub it on your chest where your respiratory passages are, as, as well as up the neck, sides of the neck, and up the back of the neck. Um, and this allows the, the, um, the vapors the terpenes to uh, to infuse into your your re respiratory passages as you're breathing. Okay, uh, then we have lemon, and I just love lemon. Lemon is so such a a, 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 a diverse uh, such a, a an essential oil that has such diverse functions. Um, it de decreases, uh, um, well, I should say, first of all, it, it increases and supports the lymphatic system in that it, it encourages drainage of those uh, waste, drainage of the waste, because our, our lymphatic system is just like our, a sewage system, our body's sewage system. So we want to keep those uh, toxins that waste moving so that it, it is eliminated from our body, which also helps to boost the immune system function. Lemon is also a natural antihistamine, and Dr. Rita already talked about antihistamines and the role that they play in, in the treatment of allergies. Lemon also relieves and loosens some of that mucus that she was talking about with uh, with the 
the increase of the allergen, you know, you get that stuffy nose, the congestion, uh, lots of mucus. Uh, and if it's not expelled, then it can even get a little hardened up in there, cause sinus infection, and then you're off to the races with a whole uh, a whole another slew of of symptoms, and so the the goal would be to prevent the uh, the escalation, I guess I could say, of of a an allergic response or or allergic reaction to minimize the effects and thereby prevent. Uh, complications of bacterial infection and that kind of thing. So lemon is a good one for that. It not only does it, uh, again, relieve that con some of that congestion, that inflammation, but it loosens the mucus so that it can be expelled. It also cools the inflammation. Um, uh, again, that inflammation being a result of the allergic reaction, the irritation, um, and you can, tell when the mucous membranes are, are irritated and inflamed because they produce mucus to try to pr protect itself from the irritants. Um, lemon also has disinfectant properties. So it is excellent to, uh, to diffuse in a diffuser or place in your hands, inhale, uh, also good is to put a pan of water or a pan of water of hot water on, drop a few drops of, of essential oil in and inhale. You could even put a towel over your head and inhale some of those vapors, which is going to go a long, long way. Lemon is also good to add to your water or your tea, uh, especially if you're drinking. Um, uh, hot beverages because it's again it's going to help break up that that mucus and help to expel it. Tea tree oil uh, is our last one, and tea tree oil actually destroys airborne pathogens, bacteria, mold, uh, fungus, fungi, whichever you want to call it. Um, so it can it can help in in eliminating some of those uh, uh, airborne pathogens because they can also uh, contribute to or even be the cause of allergic reactions. Uh, tea tree oil is great to diffuse again because it does uh, halt the negative effects of airborne pathogens. Tea tree oil is also very good to for cleaning, as well as as lemon, uh, because we get not only those uh, you know pollen, mold, mildew, and all of those kinds of pathogen can be on surfaces. So uh, to clean with with those uh, essential oils is also good, as well as utilizing our our uh, hard surface spray um, to clean areas. So let me just say too that essential oils are very, very potent. They come in little bottles like this, you know, the, the directions say use one drop or two drops. And most people say, oh, but this, that's just such a little bit, I should use more. No, more is not better. Actually, you should start with one or two drops, just as the instructions say on the bottle, and recognize that this is a concentrated form of, of uh, the plant, the herb. And so with that, let's say you have five drops of lemon, that could be the equivalent of, of a whole lemon or more. So please be respectful of, of essential oils. Good essential oils, premium quality and organic essential oils uh, are free of 
of uh, toxins, of pesticides, of herbicides, and that kind of thing, and are very high in terpenes. They have a very high frequency, and so you only need a small amount. In fact, you could literally take um, a couple of drops of, of um, essential oil and place it in purified water and use it as a spray. Our peppermint spray is awesome. Uh, this would be uh, uh, an excellent uh, addition to your respiratory health, especially that in that we're using, uh, we're wearing masks all the time. And I don't know about you, but when I have my mask on, I feel as though I can't breathe very, very well because my, you know, the the air exchange is impeded. So what I usually do is I'll take my peppermint spray and I'll just spray it on my mask and that offers me um, a burst of, of uh, essential oil vapor which immediately opens up my airways and voila, I can breathe. So that is, uh, yeah, our peppermint spray is absolutely wonderful. It's also good to keep you alert. Um, Somebody, Dr. Rita mentioned the um, uh, antihistamines. When you take antihistamines, how they make you sleepy and and drowsy and that kind of thing. A hit of peppermint spray will wake you right up. So um, let me just say that. Um, okay, I said more is more is not better. Use a small amount. Anyone with very sensitive skin should absolutely do a skin test. Um, use one drop of essential oil to one or two drops or so of, of any carrier oil. You could use olive oil, you could use coconut oil, you could use grapeseed oil, and put it in an area that is inconspicuous and wait. Um, because some people are much more sensitive than others and um, different people have different allergies, so someone could, in fact, be allergic to an essential oil. So always do a skin test first. Uh, if possible, wait uh, a good four or five hours, that kind of thing. And in some cases, 24 hours and see that there is no uh, uh, topical reaction and then feel free to use them. Uh, one last thing I'd like to say about essential oils and putting them in your hand, always make sure not to touch your eyes. Uh, if you ever get an essential oil in your eye, do not rinse it with water. Please don't do that. Get um, some oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and put a drop or two of oil in your eye and it will calm it down immediately but do not use water please <laughs> okay thanks for letting me share thank you so much dr betty that was great information uh, i think everyone now understands that you know using cbd plus our essential oils um, in so different different ways really can assist with the symptoms that allergy sufferers uh, have. So the black seed, the peppermint, the eucalyptus, the lemon. You know, lemon is like my favorite now. It used to be peppermint, but I use lemon all over my kitchen, the <laughs> countertops, and lemon just picks me up. It energizes me. You know, I personally don't suffer from allergies, but we recommend that if you do suffer from allergies, really hopefully you understand that now you can utilize CBD, you can utilize any of our essential oils, you can utilize also our different forms of consuming CBD. It can be in a tincture form, a topical form, an edible form. It can be in the form of a smokable. Just get it in your system, you. right? I recommend that you start out with the Hempranium 500 tincture twice a day, along with the black seed. I think those are two great products right out the gate to start with. 
And then each and every month, you can start adding on different essential oils. Um, you can diffuse them in your home. You can, like Dr. Betty said, simply use both hands as a diffuser. Um, inhaling, opening up those passages. Remove dairy out of your diet. Oh my goodness. But I do want to share with them, Dr. Betty, some foods that are rich in antihistamines. I didn't realize that these foods were rich in antihistamines, excuse me. Avocados. I love avocados. I'm glad I don't have allergies. Uh, shellfish. I'm glad I don't have allergies. Um, let me read you some more. Let's see here. Some foods you really should avoid eating if you have allergies. Fermented foods, processed foods, alcohol, um, packaged meats, aged cheese. Um, there are some legumes like kidney beans and chickpeas that are high in histamine. A lot of the citrus fruits can be high in histamine. So you want to make sure that you Google foods that are high in histamines, making sure you're removing dairy and adding these amazing products if you have allergies, right? This can help to get you off a lot of these medications over the counter like Benadryl and Allegra and Zyrtec that have a lot of side effects. Why not address your allergies in a natural, holistic form of using CBD and essential oils? So enough of me jibber jabbering tonight. Uh, let's, let's look at some questions, yes. Let me just say one more thing. Uh, another thing that would be excellent for anybody that suffers from allergies is to do a detox because yes. we have so, we are exposed to, oh my gosh, not only airborne or echo uh, pollution, but also, you know, the pesticides, the herbicides, it's in the water, it's, in, it's, just, it's everywhere. And we have been inhaling and ingesting these toxins for years and years and years before we even knew it. Right. And so um, to do a detox would, would do you a world of good. And so let me recommend our bitters. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because they, and really, uh, well, I can only speak to myself. I did them did them and I was going to do a Facebook and I said oh this is not that bad <laughs> this is not that bad at all so um really um there are 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 uh four different ouch my cat <laughs> uh there are four different different uh flavors sweet salty wait, sweet salty sour and Hot, I think the other one is, but the other one is better. Better, duh. <laughs> <laughs> duh. And the bitters are the ones that we as Americans use the least of. All other cultures use bitters and uh, on a regular basis. And so it, it let me encourage you to add that to your diet. Um, do that four day detox and you will be so, so surprised at the stuff that comes out of you. Oh my goodness. So try it, you might like it. Wonderful, let's take some questions now. Uh, let's see, lots of comments, great presentation. Thank you, Dr. Betty, good stuff, good stuff. Extremely helpful, great, great, great. I think the first question I said, I saw, can a diabetic use the bitters and do you use the black seed oil under your tongue? And can persons on dialysis use the bitters? I appreciate the time and consideration. So Jewel, whenever I get questions about folks on dialysis, I truly, truly love to uh, recommend that they talk to their nephrologist, right? Because folks who are on dialysis, 
um, have a different sort of uh, fluid restrictions, fluid um, concerns. So if you're on dialysis, you wanna ensure that uh, the products that you're taking uh, will not interfere with your treatment. Uh, black seed oil is taken under the tongue. I started my son on three drops of the Hempranium 500 milligram twice a day and six drops of the black seed under his tongue twice a day. I removed dairy from his diet and within six months, he was able to have a new life. Um, so dialysis, uh, questions, you wanna make sure that you consult with their kidney doctor. So um, is there a question about a tincture dose for good for children? Um, now our products are not um, recommended for children. So it's to the discretion of the parent or guardian to start their, their child on uh, our CBD tincture. So you can email me Latrice and if I can get the weight of that child, we can figure out the dosage. My email is RitaMD at Wakana.com. So it's to the discretion of the parent or the guardian. Our products are for adult use. We have many parents and guardians here at Wakana that have chosen to use the products on their children and have had pretty amazing results. Let's see. Let's look, look over the Q&A, no questions. Dr. Betty, you did amazing. Let's see, just a lot of great comments. I love the nasal spray for our sinuses. And I failed to show that slide, our first defense nasal spray. Thank you, Dr. Betty is absolutely, Dr. Rita, how could you forget, right? It's been a long day. Um, our first defense is absolutely a great product for those who have allergies. Um, it is a CBD product along with essential oils, a great proprietary formula that goes directly to the source, right? In those nasal passages, reducing inflammation, reducing and blocking histamine release. So yes, show that again, Dr. Betty, our first defense. Uh, Forgive Me is absolutely going to be one of those products that you're going to use if you have allergies. Any other questions? Well, if you're a guest on the line, we want to make sure that you have time to contact the person who invited you so that you can get your products ordered. You want to ensure that you have a combination, not just one thing. You wanna combine the tinctures with the essential oils, uh, with the edibles at night, the gummies at night, and any topical product and even smokable product. You wanna make sure that you get um, your questions answered. Obviously, if you have questions that come to your mind, you can Email me again at RitaMD at Wakana.com. Dr. Betty, you want to give me your email so we can put that in the chat as well? Yeah, she's about to finish up. Uh, oh, Dr. Uh, Rita, I just have one question to answer. It looks like in the uh, question and um, answer about the bitters. Yes. They said, yes. What, what was the purpose of the visit? Bitters and that is to help um, assist uh, to detoxify some of the waste from our body. Our bodies normally do that with the assistance of our kidney and liver. But um, for those who are not eating properly, that will help assist uh, you're getting those toxins out of your, your, your intestines and colon. And just to, a fun fact is we have 30 feet of intestines uh, lar large and small intestines. And it may take some people about uh, 36 hours to have that move. So just kind of be cautious and make sure you're eating two or three servings of, of vegetables, non-starchy vegetables, you know, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
Thank you so much. Um, can eucalyptus be taken uh, internally, Dr. Betty? Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Yes, thank you. Um, I tend to stay away from eucalyptus internally. Um, I do. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think it's better to uh, diffuse it or use it topically. Yeah, eucalyptus is a hot oil, so we don't recommend you use it internally, Robert. You can diffuse it or use it topically. When you use it topically, always remember to use a carrier oil um, and also use a little test uh, on the skin before you start rubbing it all over your chest but do not use eucalyptus internally. And yes, Jewel, we're working on those lines on the droppers so that you can see what three drops is, eight drops are 15, but for now, Jewel, one, two, three is three drops, but we're working on that as well. And well, I, let, let me give this little tip about um, the drops because um, all the drops are very precious in our tinctures. Very and precious. so, exactly. And so what I encourage people to do is to, unless you have a very fine uh, uh, sense of, of pressure. Dexterity or something. Yeah, dexterity, pressure. Um, put it in, put three drops in a spoon and drop it under your tongue. And that way you know you've got three drops and you don't waste your product and you don't take you don't take too much of it. So you can actually see what you're doing. Exactly. I love that. I love that. Yeah, we will put a post out when the coffee will be available. There's another question about that. Uh, we'll let you know. Maybe Phyllis knows when the coffee is gonna be available, but as soon as it's available, we'll let you know. That Everybody coffee wants that coffee. Everybody right. wants that coffee. Wednesday, it might, I wasn't there, but it was tracked to be there Wednesday. Okay. So don't bombard the customer service tomorrow. We'll announce it and put it on Facebook if it's in. Thank you. Thank you. Well, have a great night, everyone. We want to thank all of our business partners, all of our guests. I want to thank Dr. Betty Smith for really giving us great nuggets about how we can utilize essential oils uh, to assist and address our symptoms if we have allergies. Hopefully this information is good information for you now to share with your family and friends and all those that you know that suffer from allergies. We want to thank all of our Wakana Medical Advisory Board. I see Dr. Charlotte Mitchell, Dr. Crawford is also uh, on the line. We want to thank our Chief Sales Officer, Phyllis Nash, and our Chief Financial Officer, um, our Director of Finance, you know who you are, Kathy Weathersby. We want to thank everyone. Be well, be safe, and we'll see you next week. Have a great night. And uh, we'll talk later. Thank you, Dr. Betty. Thank you.